going to have a treat, said Mel Mouse to his best friend, Max. Look, someone had spilt a load of sugar on the storeroom floor. The sugar looked like a big white mountain. You stand guard, I'll get Molly, said Max. Max ran into the supermarket. It was late at night. During the day, the shop was dangerous for mice. There were people pushing trolleys, children playing games, and old ladies filling their baskets with chocolate biscuits. But at night, it was even worse. A security guard and his dog kept watch in the shop. The mice felt safer in the storeroom. But Max knew Molly was in the shop. He ran to the fruit section. Molly was nibbling a apple. We've got a treat, said Max, grinning. Come and see. The three mice gazed up at the mountain. Where's a lot, said Molly. She was always hungry. We'll eat till we're sick, squeaked Mel. Max was the first. Oh, then suddenly a voice snarled, Get your dirty paws off that sugar. It's ours. Max was the first to turn round. He didn't like what he saw. Then Mel and Molly turned round. They didn't like what they saw either. Ricky, Rat and his brother Ron, Ronnie had squeezed under the door of the storeroom. Ricky's gang was close behind the was close behind. The rats were wore dark glasses. The rats were gangsters. They often raided the supermarket at night. Too often. Ricky Rat helped up a great big water balloon. Back off the sugar, he said, or I'll squirt you, silly. It's not fair, said Molly Mouse, her paws in her hair. It's mice only in this, this storeroom. We've got, we got here first. There isn't room for rats and mice in this supermarket, said Ricky. We're taking over, said Ronnie. This is our storeroom now. Ricky threw the water balloon. Splat! Squeaking with fury, Mel and Max, Mel, Max, and Molly ran away into the shop. We'll get you for this, yelled Max, but the rats weren't listening. They were eating the sugar. Chapter 2 Rat Attack. The mice ran across the floor of the su floor of the supermarket of the supermarket. They were on the lookout for danger. They were scared for the rats and their big water balloons. But they were also scared of the security guard and his dog, Toby. 
the mice hid behind a pot of flowers. Those rats are not getting away with this sweet smell. Soon there'll be no sugar left, wailed Molly. I've got a plan, began Max. Then suddenly he saw a long tail. I think there's a rat spying on us. Ronnie came out from behind a from behind the flowers. Ricky says I've got to keep a check on you, he said with a what's that word? Sugary. Sugary grin. If you try anything, you'll get your tail nipped off. Now the mice were really scared. The rats were fierce. The mice had... The mice had had... The mice had had. The mice had had battles with them before. Um, it's a bit of a strange way to write it, but yeah, the mice had had battles with them before, and they'd lost them all. Does that but make sense? But it yeah wasn't fair. The mice followed, found the storeroom first, so it belonged to them. It was their hiding place. They must get rid of. The rat gang. Suddenly, Toby and the guard dog ran out of the office. The guards came too. Hey, Toby. The guard dog ran out of the office. The guard came too. Mice! He yelled. Get them, Toby! The mice fled behind some cereal boxes, ba barking loudly. Toby charged. Mel put his paws over his eyes. So did Molly. Max held his breath. Then the telephone began to ring. The guard ran back to his office and Toby ran with him. The mice sighed, sighed with a relief. Phew, said Max. What a close... Suddenly, a jet of water splashed down on them. Splat! And, and I'm ever closer, sneered Ronnie Rat from the top of the box. The cornflakes, so watch it. The cornflakes. So watch it. Top of the cornflakes. He was on the box of the top of the box of the cornflakes, wasn't he? Oh, so watch it. The mice were soaked. It's hopeless, said Molly. Shivering. Shivering. We'll be stuck out here. Forever, Toby will catch us if we can't get back into the storeroom, wailed Mel. I've got a plan, said Max. He began to whisper. Chapter 3, Rat Trap Max, Mel and Molly ran to the pet food.
section, they found a big bag of dry dog food. The mice looked around carefully, but, but there was no sign of Ronnie. The guard or Toby, the guard or Toby, with their sharp teeth, the mice made holes in the bag. The dog food began to spill out. The mice looked around again. Everywhere was quiet. Now we need some paper cups, whispered Max. May and Molly soon found a packet. They dragged it back to Max. This is hard work, said Mel. Stop talking and hurry up. That's what I would normally say. <laughs> Ist Max. He, he was getting worried. At any point, the guard and Toby might come out of the office. The mice fled some filled some cups with dry dog food and carried them carefully to the storeroom door. Then they began to scatter food in a trail towards the guard's office. I can't keep this up, complained Mel. Just get on with it, snapped Max. If we don't hurry, there'll be no sugar left. If, if that dog comes out, said Molly, there'll be nothing of us left either. At last... The trail of dog food le led right up to the office door. The door was open. Toby was asleep in his basket. Well, we'll have to wake Toby up, said Max. Then, then when the rock... When he runs out. When he runs out of the office, he'll, he'll eat the dog food and follow the trail right to the storeroom. Finished Mel happily. He wasn't tired any longer. Then he'll smell a rat or two said Molly, grinning. He'll smell if... He'll smell us if we're not careful, said Max. You two, go and hide behind those tins of baked beans. I'll wake Toby up. We can't leave you, said Molly. Bravely, but Mel was a bit of a coward. Yes, we can, he said, and ran off as fast as he could. Chapter 4 The Guard Dog In the storeroom, the rats were still guzzling the sugar. Those mice have gone very quiet, said Ricky wiping sugar off his dark glasses. What's happened to them? To them. Ronnie peered under the door. No mice in sight, but someone's dropped something on the floor. Maybe it's more sugar, said Ronnie greedily. We, we haven't finished this lot yet, 
said Ricky.